Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today our program is a very special one because it features the organ, a demonstration on the King of Instruments. The great Rufati organ here at the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, was built in Italy in 1973. It houses 6,642 pipes of all sizes, from the size of a pencil to the massive 32-foot principles which weigh almost 800 pounds each. Today we're going to be hearing some of these sounds in solo and in combination. With five manuals to choose from, Let's begin with the reed stops of the organ, from the old antique reeds to the great horizontal trumpets. As you may have noticed, the organ is the only instrument to have a keyboard for the pedals. It is possible to play scales and chords 
and arpeggios on the pedals. And sometimes the composer asks for the feet to imitate exactly what the hands are doing. Such is the case of the music of Johann Sebastian Bach's Jig Fugue, where the hands first take the melody and the feet follow right behind. In this piece, we use the principal stops of the organ, a sound unique to this instrument. Just as in an orchestra, the sounds of an organ are divided into sections. The reeds, examples which we have just heard, the strings, flutes, and principles. All of the white knobs that you see on the sides of the keyboards are different sounds. Each division of these stops relate to a different keyboard on the organ. During any piece of music, these sounds or stops must be changed. In order to make this change easier, we have pistons which change the stops automatically. They are found under each keyboard and above the pedals and can be changed by hands or feet. In the famous Arioso of Johann Sebastian Bach, we feature the strings of the organ. But for crescendos and decrescendos, we must not only change stops, but keyboards as well. The feet also work the swell boxes, which make the sounds louder and softer.
One of the most beautiful and delicate sounds of any organ is the sound of the flute stops. As in other divisions, such as the reeds and the strings, the flutes come in different pitches. The eight-foot pitch, the pitch an octave higher, which is the four-foot flute, and the two-foot, which is two octaves higher. Let me first demonstrate the flute as a solo stop using the four-foot flutes of the organ in a piece written by Thomas Arne. You may be asking the question, why are there so many keyboards on this organ? Well, it helps to have more variation, and usually the larger the organ, the more keyboards there are. The smallest organs have one keyboard. The largest organ in the world has seven. Each keyboard corresponds to a separate section of the organ or a separate division. The great has the loudest stops. The swell has the softest. So it is possible to jump from one keyboard to the other very quickly with great variation of sound.
The composers of France were famous for writing toccatas, pieces which use all of the resources of the organ by combining all of the sounds we have heard today on the program. The hands take fast repeated patterns and the feet play the melody. It has been said of the instrument, the organ, that it is in truth the grandest, the most daring, the most magnificent of all instruments invented by human genius. It is a whole orchestra in itself. Surely it is some sort of a pedestal on which the soul poises to cross the infinite that separates heaven from earth. In demonstrating an organ with its majestic trumpets, with the flutes, the strings, and the principles, 
We could not omit a great hymn of faith, which so beautifully combines all of the sounds of the organ together into sounds of eternal praise. Thank you for joining us today on the joy of music as we have brought you a demonstration of the organ king of instruments in psalm 150 we are told to praise the lord to praise him with all kinds of instruments with trumpets flutes psaltery and harp with string instruments and organs the organ is a combination of all these sounds and is a majestic instrument to bring praise and glory to the living God and the living Christ. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.